Hey internet, guess what? It's almost April. We're so close. And that means it's time for another monthly obsessions video. So let's dive right in. Now, I think I've mentioned this before in my videos, but I've been obsessed with sweet potato things lately. And particularly this month, I've been obsessed with sweet potato chips. And honestly, like you could sit down and eat an entire bag of these chips in one sitting because they are so delicious. I've had these things in my pantry for like half of a month because I really wanted to put them in this video. And I guess I just didn't want to buy another bag because money. So thankfully now that they're in my video, I can eat the rest of the bag. You don't understand how much self-control that has taken. Second, shock and surprise, I love cats. If you don't know that, I'm sorry, I, I have failed you. So this month I have two cat related things. First, I have this cat that I bought on Etsy. It's actually called a Kitty Gram. You can buy them on Etsy. This one was only $10 and its name is actually Abigail. So we're, you know, kindred souls. But when you buy these, according to the Etsy page, 100% of what you spend on them goes to opening an animal shelter. My second cat thing is this adorable purple cat that was made for me by a friend of mine. I think I'm going to start calling it Lila Cat. Like Lilac Cat. I don't, I don't know, names for things. I was having the worst day at work and my coworker brought this to me and it made my whole day better. So let's move on to books. As you guys know, I listen to a lot of audiobooks because I can listen to them while I work. So this month I listened to Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. It's about this little boy who actually lost his father in 9-11. I don't really know how to explain it. He goes on a search for something that he thinks is a clue that his dad left for him. And it's just really amazing and heartfelt and I would definitely recommend listening to it or reading it if you get the chance. I have not seen the movie so I can't really speak to that. I'm gonna dork out for a second on you because I was a kid that never really got into Pokemon. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just never got into it. I loved the song at the end. I didn't, I didn't get it, sorry. But I loved Digimon. So I found out recently via a friend that Digimon is on Netflix. Guess what I've been doing? Yep, you got it. Watching Digimon constantly brings back all of the memories of when I was a kid and just like how much I love that show. So Digimon on Netflix, check that out. I am obsessed with Hank Green's Snapchat stories. I know this is super dumb and everyone's kind of trying to figure out how to use Snapchat on like a bigger social level, like these larger, more famous people are trying to figure out how to use them and, and connect with their audience on this platform. but. Hank Green is so funny. His Snapchats are incredibly random, but I feel like they are so true to him and I really enjoy watching them. So yeah, if you haven't, check out Hank Green on Snapchat. I don't have a whole lot to say music wise, except that I have been obsessed with attempting to cover The Hanging Tree from Mockingjay. In my heart, I always have a special place for songs that are like super incredibly haunting and interesting and that can have really fun harmonies with them and stuff. If you want to hear a really cool acapella cover of this, you can actually check out this YouTuber, Zoe, just Zoe, who did a cover of it and it is phenomenal. Seriously, I am blown away by how good it is. As springtime is rolling in, another one of my obsessions is being outside. It's getting warm this week. And so I'm just absolutely obsessed with getting the chance to be outside. And on a slightly more somber note, my family's been through a really difficult time this month. So one of the main things that I'm really obsessed with this month is the healing power of family. One thing that I've always loved about my family is that we can get together and have a good time and share the love with each other and just, you know, really be there. For me, family is the balm that soothes all wounds. My wish is that everyone has something like this in their life. Maybe it's not your family. I understand that some people have complicated family lives, but I hope hope that when bad things happen that you have some sort of way to calm and soothe yourself and to make things feel a little bit better. Alright cool, so I think that concludes my obsessions for this month. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your March and enjoy the beginnings of your April. I will see you all later. Right now. Everyone say hi to Shara because she wants to be in the video today. Mwah.